Yep, yeah, cheers, Richard. Yeah, cheers, thank you. Well, I hope these brakes work. It always have sun cream on. I normally do. Not today though. Nice course today. It's uh, it's going to be about 30 odd miles all the way towards Humberston, Cleethorpes area. And uh, yeah, I'm going to meet up with Richard Lake if he's around, have a coffee maybe, bite the wheat, I don't know, whatever he's got in mind, and uh, catch up with him and see how he's getting on after his uh, Paris breast Paris injury. I think he's uh. Yeah, he's hurting at the moment, but that's him, so he's off the bike. But anyway, I'm going to have a natter with him and have a catch-up. Should be fun. I stop for a drink or anything or just uh, you know just have a couple of moments stop in the shade it's just too darn warm man if you stop in the heat oh man so warm <laughs> we didn't ride though so far a couple of cyclists out but uh, the good news is there's hardly any cars so far so this is absolutely brilliant I think uh, yeah couldn't have asked for a better day to do 100k a lot of these climbs you look at them on the gps you look at them on their strava or commute or rival gps and you think oh crack it that looks hard and you mentally sort of put yourself down for doing it so when you are on the on the climb you think this is too tough and your just mind gives up best not to think about it that's a wellsby one i was almost at the last bit going up the top and I think to myself I didn't used to be able to get up this some couple of bikes and uh, yeah I went straight up it and it's really warm today EYs I think I do perform better but only for a little bit though I think uh, anything which is like today's temperature the first hour I'm absolutely fine as long as I keep my fluids up and eat <laughs> I think I can sustain it a little bit more. It's a gradual sort of come down on the performance kick. But uh, yeah, if I don't drink, then, well, like anything, you just you just blow up really. And there'll come a point where you will bonk. I haven't bonked for a while. Uh, so uh, let's not do it today. About now, that little wiggle bike's gonna turn up the Vitus uh, Razor. It was due actually for delivery yesterday, but it never arrived, so checking the uh, track in this morning it said it was out for delivery however I'm not waiting in no not on a glorious day like today it's a pity really that I didn't have it yesterday because I would have rode it today as a test ride oh crikey what are we 19.6 miles in average speeds took a bit of a hit we're down to 14.8 at the moment I'd expect that to drop to 13 numbers by the end of the day Should make good time. 
14.9 average currently, so that's not bad at all. Oh, I better stop. <laughs> oh, how about that? Look at this nice shiny new road. Now this is a really, really good question. It's like if I'm bombing down the main road, like that one for instance, and then a uh, cycle path opens up like this, am I legally obliged to use it? I mean, I did on this occasion because it's lovely and it doesn't look like it's got a lot of crap on it, but most of the time it's got glass and uh, rubbish and all sorts of crap in the way. So I'll always opt for the road. But I don't know, what's your thinking on that? I'll have to have a check on that when I get back home to see what the legal law says on this. But I don't know, it's hard to say. These things are popping up all the time. This one seems to be okay, but a lot of them pretty crap actually. Here we go, here's a good example of... Uh... I mean, that's fine for uh, mountain bikes and uh, stuff like that, but what if I'm running 23C tyres on my racer and like you've got one here, look. I don't know. Right, anyway, uh, this looks like it's running out, so I've got to get back in the road. If anything, it's just slowed me down. <laughs> no, well, all this stops starting. I'm not going to get anywhere. And the amount of glass I've had to dodge as well. There we go, look. Here's a prime example of someone on the road. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Look at now. It's like, is it or isn't it? I think it is. Look. A bit heavily disguised. Ah, oh, I'm going to go back on the road, I think. Oh, flipping Nora. Let's have a look at the map. We're just in Humberston. Now we've got to try and find Richard Lee. I've just messaged him. I think he's having a shave. I might be a bit early. And there's a bus behind me. Ironically though, down here, it's meant to be uh, like holiday sort of places, you know, with the caravans and whatnot, where people come to, uh, you know, spend a week or two or a month for their little holly bobs. And there's not one cycle path down this road. They're always back there, but not down here, just big buses. I've just arrived at the uh, Fitties, as it is known. <laughs> just a little beach, really, and it's packed. I'll see loads of people. And I'm pleased to say, a bang on 50 kilometres, 0.01. So, uh, yeah, my uh, my calculations for 100k seem to be spot on. I'm going to go, um, I've just, well, I just had a message from Richard Lake. He, we're going to be up in a pub. So uh, I've got to go back all the way to, is it the North Sea Road? And then I think we've got swinger left. There's a pub somewhere along there anyway. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll see what Rich has got to say. Right, let's see if we can find him. I quite like it around here actually. It's uh, every sort of, uh, well, what are they? Uh, caravans or sorts, uh, park houses. They've all got a bit of character. Every single one's slightly different, which is brilliant. Nice little red one there, look. And there. Got some boring ones there, look. Got some old ones there. <laughs> and we've got lots of cars. Uh, a Lancashire flag back on that one. We've got a brand new one there, look. <laughs> yeah, full of character. Fantastic stuff. Carrington, no, that's not the boy. That's not it. What was it? Harrington? 
Carrington. I think it was it. I might have to turn around. Shit. <laughs> oh yeah. I think I've just passed him. <laughs> I must have shot past him. <laughs> Better turn around. Yep, cheers Richard. Yep, cheers. Thank you. This is brilliant because it's so warm today. It's it is big up weather, I must admit. <laughs> So two pints later. Two start. pints later, yeah, this is it. I think we've had enough. I've got a 30 mile ride as well to get back home. <laughs> Halfway across the world at the moment, on the way back. And uh, yeah, it's still warm. I'm currently 73k in of the 100k. Not long to go, uh, about three and a bit hours in. So uh, yeah, pretty okay. I'm, I'm very much enjoying this ride. This is uh, excellent practice. And it's just wonderful being outside because it is just glorious weather. I think we've got about two or three more climbs left to do. Temperature should be dropping shortly. It is just got, well, it is nearly quarter to five. So I'm hoping the sun will start to uh, give out a little bit and uh, yeah, cool it down for me because uh, oh, damn, I am hot. Well, I'm just coming up to Wellsby Hill at the moment, and then it's into Market Rays, and, and then it's the final 10 miles back to uh, Welton on the flat. So, uh, not very interesting, and you've probably already seen it at the start of the video because I'm just doubling back anyway. So, uh, yeah, thank you very much for viewing today. I've enjoyed this. I think this 100k, which I'm almost there, 79.99k. 79 so, not too bad so far if you like what you see please do drop me a like hit me a comment underneath and as always i will see you in the next video bye bye <laughs> I hope these brakes work. Ah! <laughs>